Look out, it's me, D to the J, your puppy training papa. There were none before me and there will be none after me, therefore that makes me the one and only. Certified, bona fide, very, very qualified, let's go! First of all, this handsome young fella right here is a black Pomeranian by the name of Tyson Chocolate Drop. He enjoys long, hot walks on sunny days with a tall, cold, iced glass of lemonade. Oh, but you will be carrying him. Yeah, to make him walk, that is the ultimate sin. You know what I'm saying? That is the ultimate sin. He demands that you carry him. He's currently three months old, full of love with a lot of soul. And he's a cutie! So Pomeranians require a lot of love and a lot of cuddling, a lot of attention with very little suffering. But don't let all that cuteness fool you. They can be feisty. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video where I will teach you how to become the Alpha Pomeranian with these three easy tips and tricks. Look at him, he probably thinking something smells like it was here before yeah something was here before but it ain't here no more sometimes we eat dinner right here instead of on the floor ha ha stop licking the table now thank you what you doing Tyson what you doing Tyson you so cute yes you are Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, all right. Not too hard. Thank you. Ah, oh, you're such a cutie. You're such a cutie. Yes, you are. Yeah. Can I get a high five? Can I get a high five? Y'all, he's over here thinking, dude, put my paw down and leave me alone. I just want to eat your hand. Yeah, I just want to eat your hand. Mmm, <laughs> that thumb finger tastes good. That thumb finger tastes good. Yeah, he's sitting here thinking, dude, why did you put me on the table like this? And I'm thinking, dude, we had to do an episode. And then he's thinking, okay, dude, let's do it. I know your moves, you little pup. Sit. Oh, it's cute. It's actually really cute. Let's get a different angle. Oh, hell, King Tyson. Beep, 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 beep. So tip number one, don't ever let your puppy on the couch or bed because Pomeranians equate their level in the household based on your height to them. Yeah, they might be small, but they're very big hearted. It's not the size of the dog in the fire, but the size of the fire in the dog. Hey, what are you doing on my block? Uh, this is my pond. You came over here, buddy. So if they can roam on the couch or bed, they're going to think that they're the dominant one in the house. They'll think they're equal to you. So when they do cooperate and stay on the floor and don't get on the bed or the couch, give them a treat. Reward them for it. Hey, this is my area. Get out of here. Uh, buddy, I told you this is my pond. Okay, tip number two. Show your Pomeranian that you are the leader of the house. This is one of the most extravagant ways that you can teach your, your puppy of any breed that you are the dominant one in the house. It just goes all the way back to that old saying that I'm sure you all have heard before, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. That is a very real and viable thing, okay? Puppies are just learning. They need a leader. They need a pack leader. So what you must do from time to time is serve them their food through your hand. That is a very effective way. And the way that you can do that is how you feed them okay now it's always it's normal to feed your puppy just giving it to them in the bowl and stuff but sometimes feed it to them through your hand let them eat it from your hand this lets them know that you have the food and you are the one in charge hand feeding can go a long long way when establishing your authority and your leadership in the household 
So every once in a while, feed your dog through your hand. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, tip number three. Tip number three would be to make them do a trick every single night before dinner. Now, with Tyson, I like to make him sit down, roll over, before I give him his food, before I actually let him eat. I'll hold the food in front of him, and I'll make him sit, I'll make him roll over, every single night and then the food will be the reward so that would be my last tip for you guys tip number three would be make your pup sit make your pup do some type of some form of a trick and look at you also make them look at you without breaking eye contact that's what i would say make them do a trick every night before dinner Make them sit and look at you without breaking eye contact. Then you can let them eat dinner. And that's his reward when you let him eat dinner. So give that a try. And you know what? I love you guys. I like you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I'm going to give y'all a bonus tip. The bonus tip. Tip number four. Tip number four would be. Practice touching your pup in vulnerable spots, like armpits, under the arms and stuff, legs, things like that, the back of the neck, their snout, muzzle area, places that their mother touched them and handled them when they were puppies, when they were kids, you know what I'm saying? When you touch them in vulnerable places like that, the way they were touched by their mothers when they were babies, it establishes leadership and also gets them used to people touching them like when you take them to vets doctors etc on a regular it enforces who's the boss so that is my final and last tip for you guys to practice with your puppy and so after all that I hope that you guys gathered a lot of good little golden nuggets from listening to this video. Comment down below if you tried what I said in the comment section. Comment down below in the comment section if you tried everything that I've said do with your pup and tell me how it went. I would love to hear it. And stay tuned for much more videos, tips, and tricks that I'll be coming out with about how to raise your pup or Pomeranians as new pet owners. Thank you for joining me on three easy tips and tricks on becoming the pack leader for your Pomeranian puppy. Stay tuned for the next video, folks, because it's going to get much better from here. Look out, it's me, D to the J, your puppy training papa. There were none before me and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. Bonafide, certified, very, very qualified. Let's go! Ah.